This is uh, the older Schwinn Joyrider. I just got it the other day, hoping it would fit my e-bike, but uh, didn't have a manual. And of course, every time I try to look up a manual, it comes out with today's model, which is totally different connector. This is a different connector, which uh, I'm assuming I have it set up right. It's because of the disc brake on the e-bike. It's quite fit on the axle or the frame. So it looks like it goes, connects to a rear rack. At least that's the way I have it on there. And I tried it around the yard and it worked. But um, I guess you don't screw this. This is taking it off. Obviously, I didn't show putting it on, but you could just reverse the video or something. Uh, had a little bit of a difficulty getting out, getting it on there. Uh, probably, if you don't want such a, as hard of a time, you would uh, could take off this bolt, and that way, if this just that piece is in your hand instead of the whole unit. But uh, it looks like <clears throat> so you unscrew that all the way so that that has room to play and then I think of which I think I snapped this end on last but we'll see what's I guess whichever way works taking it off but I believe that this went in first down on and then I kind of just had to pull tug at this to get it to come around my frame without hitting my disc brake obviously once it's tight, it seems to sit away from the brake just enough. Um, but I'm trying to get it off now here. Disconnected, I should say. Yeah, just because I'm recording, I'm having a hard time because I don't have both hands available. There we go. That pops that off like that. Poof, just like that, I think. There. There, and I guess it does have a wheel in case you want to use it as a jogger. But there she is. That wasn't too bad. But again, I was I was gonna undo the clip and put it on the bike, but it just looks like they've got it connected so that you can't the clip can't come out because that's in the way. So if you wanted a less of a struggle maybe take this bolt out, pull that out, put it on the bike, and then reconnect this to that. But today's videos, it's not as helpful because, on today's models I should say, because today's model has just the, the connector here that goes right to the axle. Kinda like this idea better. Goes on my rack. But, um, anyway, that's my, uh, Older Schwinn Joyrider, Joyride trailer, and I actually might have invented this thing back in back in the 90s. I've got a picture of the original one, but uh, you know back then everybody said $250 was a waste of money for a patent, so I never got a patent for it. <laughs> As you see, they exist, so I could have been a millionaire, you never know. Anyway, that's another story. There it is.